Chicka trailer. We are Collector Cars of Chicago. I wanted to do a quick walk around video for all our viewers. Uh, if you do have any questions, feel free to leave a question or remark in the comments section. And as always, you can reach out to us by using the contact us button under bat essentials. I will walk around the vehicle and then I will do another walk around pointing out any imperfections or flaws that I do notice. The Astoro Blue looks absolutely stunning in the bright sunlight this afternoon. We just picked it up uh, from the shop where we had the car on the lift. We replaced the power steering line. I apologize in advance if the sun is creating any sort of glare. Okay, now that we've gone around the car, I will point out any imperfections or flaws that I do notice. Right off the bat, we do have some oxidation on the wheels just from the age of it. As always, we will have the car professionally detailed prior to sale. This is a notable item on most um, M Coupes, Roadsters, and E36s. We do notice this. I know some of you gentlemen had questions in regards to the gap on the bumpers. These do have plastic clips and retainers behind it. Over time, they do flex. Um, looking at this bumper, it does appear that this rear bumper has been resprayed or repainted in the past. So I want you guys to be fully aware of that. We had questions in regards to the pinstripe. The pinstripe does appear to be painted on. Now some, when we sold, sold this car and had it advertised in the past, asked about this script or signature. Now, we've had a detailer look at this. He did say this part could be buffed off, but now these pinstripes, if you do remove them, uh, oftentimes if they've been on the car long enough, they will create a ghosting. So they do not recommend that, our detailers. We had a ding here that our PDR guys did their best job trying to pull this out. Uh, if you look very carefully, you will see still a hint of some uh, imperfection here. There are some light scratches that have been touched up. There's a mark here on the side skirt plastic panel that's been Sorry, this feels like it's metal. It's been touched up. There were a few dings here. Um, and as you can see, that they've been trying to be removed. But there's a light mark right there. I know a lot of uh, you guys will not be able to view the car in person. Um, so that's why I am trying to, um, you know, point out anything that I do notice 
I know you guys had mentioned something about the bumper gaps, so you know, I want to go over all that with you guys here. Take a quick video of the interior. We've got some light nicks right here. Of course, if you're a BMW guy, uh, you're gonna wanna know the condition of the bolsters. So let's do a close up on the bolsters. We have not done any painting or reconditioning on the bolsters, we have left it the way it came to us. This is an imperfection. Um, we had a buyer point out to us and we noticed now This is just a beautiful interior. BMW did a great job with, you know, how the seating position is in this car. Um, I always like to take this one out, especially for a quick uh, drive around the block. Passenger seat looks really good. We do have some minor wear marks. Um, we believe just from age. I want to thank you guys for watching this video and taking the time. Of course, if you guys have any questions, you can always contact us through the Bat Essentials, um, or you can leave a question or comment, um, and we will respond to that. In the next video, I will do a cold start and a drive video. Thank you.